Hi guys, I am your host from Hairsite.com, one of the world's largest and longest running websites for hair restoration. Today's breaking news is brought to you by Hassan and Wong, a sponsor and top-ranked hair clinic on Hairsite with over 10 years of uninterrupted patient records. Well folks, we have encouraging news coming from Korean scientists, the possibility of a hair loss cure. The research was recently published in the Journal of Investigative Dermatology, as well as in Korea Times, South China Morning Post, and U.S. National Library of Medicine. First off, allow me to say that what we are going to discuss here is quite technical, so please bear with me if I, you know, mispronounce any of the scientific terms mentioned here. I am no scientist here. Now, in order to understand what we are going to discuss in this video, you need to know what WNT signaling pathway means. To put it simply, many researchers believe that WNT signaling pathways inside of a cell are responsible for follicle development and hair regeneration in humans. These pathways are usually made of proteins, and they communicate important cell activity and proliferation signals to various cells throughout our body. Recently, researchers in Korea discovered that a certain protein named CXXC5 interferes the cellular activity of WNT signaling pathways. So it's speculated that the presence of CXXC5 protein disrupts normal WNT signaling activity and can have a negative effect on hair growth as a result. In an attempt to interfere the undesirable activity of CXXC5 on hair growth, Korean scientists led by Choi at Yonsei University in Korea discovered a new biochemical substance that can act as CXXC5 inhibitor and can promote hair growth. The new compound is called PTD-DBM. PTD is short for protein transduction domain, while DBM is short for DVL binding motif. Wow, now that is a mouthful, I must say. Uh, I wish they would have come up with something a little easier to read, but anyway. The Korean scientists further reported that in order to obtain maximum hair regeneration results from PTD-DBM, the best way is to administer the treatment together with wound-induced hair follicle development and valproic acid. It does look like these scientists are onto something. Also, according to clinical studies conducted by Choi and his team, the positive effect of PTT-DBM on hair regeneration is shown in human hair follicle dermal papilla cells, now this is a very encouraging sign as it sounds like the research was done in human follicles and not in mice. As it is well known in hair site community, results from mice models rarely translate to humans when it comes to hair regeneration. As a matter of fact, this is not the first time scientists target WNT signaling pathway in an attempt to cure hair loss. I mean, if you follow the forum discussion on hairsite.com, you will know that Dr. John Cole from Atlanta is also a supporter of this concept in treating hair loss. We at Hairsight are always at the forefront in cutting-edge hair restoration news. Needless to say, we have already contacted the Korean scientists for further details about their research. Be sure to check our website or our community forum for the latest development. This breaking news is brought to you by Hairsight in collaboration with Hassan and Wong, a top-ranked hair clinic in the world. If you have questions about this research or other cutting-edge hair restoration techniques, contact Hassan and Wong for a free no-obligation consultation. Email info at hassananwong.com or visit hassananwong.com.